Okay, so I hit the entire house. I went to every drawer, every box, every pencil holder, every nook and cranny, and I went crazy and just pulled everything. And I figured between the two of us, we could organize it all or at least see what I've got. I mean, obviously you're not helping much, but you can come along for the ride, I guess. So first of all, let's figure out, I don't even know. I don't know where to start, you guys. What do I do? Okay, so let's get rid of these empty boxes. I was I pulled them because I wasn't actually sure if there was pens in here. Did I look in here? Twisby Echo? I don't think it's in here. No, but the tool's in there. Good to know that's in there. Okay, so let's get rid of these. I think you guys, I don't even know where to start. So this is my everyday carry. There's actually a few extras in here that I don't carry with me, but I'm actively using, like they're on my nightstand or on my journaling chair. So this is what I carry with me, this little um, leather case. So these are the ones that are full and active. So these cigar boxes, this one doesn't open very well, is really just kind of long-term storage for stuff. These I got at the, at the five and below. Just so you guys know, we are not going to be testing pens today or doing any kind of review on them. Right now, we're just gonna try and sort through what I have. So these five below ones, yeah, they're cute to look at, but when you have so many to choose from, then they're really just cheap. They're not, I mean, if you're just starting out and you don't have anything to, to play with, definitely give it a try. These feel like things that you would give to a kid to play with, with crayons and stuff. So I think I have one loaded here somewhere. Yeah, right here. This gray one. Um, but definitely, uh, I probably wouldn't, I probably wouldn't buy these again. And then these are just inks. I feel like I have a bunch of ink in here, but maybe not. I know I have parts and pieces. So I wonder if we just need to, I just need to sort like by brand or by type. All right, let me get rid of these. So this is not very much. <coughs> oh, that's a lot of pens right there. Maybe I just need to take all of these out of these bins. Or you know what, I see a bunch of pens that are not even fountain pens. This is a filler. This is another one of those from the dollar store. This is not a fountain pen, but it is a refillable ballpoint pen. So uh, by Hairpin, uh, the same, I think the same people who make the ink. And this is another one. This is um, the Schneider and it does take a cartridge or you can put a converter in here. I actually think this writes really well. Definitely recommend that, but I'm gonna put these aside because these are not fountain pens. What else do I see? I see a pencil in here. So I've got a bullet pencil. Yeah, that's one of these um, from Traveler's Company. Um, here's an ink pen. All right, we're just gonna pull all of these out. This is a stylus for my tablet. Oh my word, some of these need to be cleaned. How long, how many did I ruin because I haven't cleaned them? 
All right, you guys, this is, this is a little, little on the crazy side. Oh, I see another ink pen. Ink pen. Actually, let's just stick all of these in this pencil jar over here. Try not to burn my hand off with the candle. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so I have all of these empty jars over here. Um, I don't want to mix that in with this because this is the, my curated piece that I'm currently doing. So let's, I almost feel like I need to pull out the ones that need to be cleaned. Okay, this is a Lammy and it apparently has ink in it. There's a cartridge in here. I'm gonna not pull that because I think that I can reuse that cartridge. I was just about to throw it away, but it needs to be cleaned. All right, let's do the needs to be cleaned pile. This is a pilot something or other. It's relatively new. I just got it not so long ago. Nope, this is not a pilot. This is a platinum. I bet you that's what that box was for. This needs to be cleaned. So a moon man. This is one that I use pretty often, actually. I do not want to clean this. Right now it's got purple ink in it. So I'm going to keep it. So this is going to be my, I am going to keep it loaded pile. Okay, so let me, let me back up a little bit. I believe I have a bunch of pens here that are from eBay, uh, AliExpress, even a couple Etsy sellers um, that just sell cheap Chinese pens. Um, and I have gone through many, many, many iterations of, hey, this pen is $1.25 and I'm gonna buy one just to see what it's like. Because I like to be surprised. Like what if this pen that cost me a dollar is the best pen that I have ever used in my entire life? And um, like seriously, how are you gonna know that unless you try them, right? So that's kind of what I've done over the years is I buy pens because they're cheap and it might be fun to play with and um, you never know what you're going to get. So there's a lot of pens in here that I have loaded up once, didn't like it, and set it aside. And then it goes into a bin or a box or a, a whatever and I never touch it again. So um, I'm not torn up about the fact that there are pens in here that I don't use. So these, I think I've got these four. I feel like I had another one, but I might come across it. But these ones are actually desk pens. I got this one first. This is the Platinum um, Carbon Ink Desk Pen. You know it by its really super long body. So here is a normal size body compared, so you can tell that it's much, um, it's much longer. And um, I love the way this one writes. It does have ink in it. However, I have noticed that, um, and that's how we do around here. I have noticed that this pen, no matter how long I go between uses, the ink always runs just fine. It flows, there's no problem. These ones get a little weird. Um, this does not have ink in it. Um, these ones were cheapos that I picked up on AliExpress or somewhere similar. So um, let me just verify what we've got. No ink, this is a inkless one. 
So I am going to stick that in a bin over here. This one, there is ink residue. Feels like it probably needs to be cleaned. Whoops, let's actually put the cap back on there. And this one is related to the yellow and green one, and this has ink residue, so we're going to clean it. You guys, I'm gonna have a huge pile of cleaning to do. Let's pull out all of the um, the Jinhao 599s. I feel like I've probably got a bunch of those. So, you can tell those because the bodies are all the same, but they come in a bunch of different colors. We even have some that are still in the packages. And I really love the way these write. I know you guys are probably on camera being like, there's one right there, Pam, to the left, to the left. I feel like this is probably not all of them that I have, but it's a good start. These, um, let's just see. Do we have ink? This is clean. I think this one's new. I don't even think I've used it. This is clean. This one is broken. There is a crack in the body. There's a little bit of ink in there. So I am going to put it in the clean, to be cleaned pile. You can see that it has a body crack. Let's see if that will focus. Um, I'm going to put it in the to be cleaned pile. And it does not, it's because I, t I tighten it too much. Um, I want to clean it so that I can keep the converter in the, in the tip. This one I think is clean and new. This one feels like it's got ink in it. Yep, this is brown ink. So I think what's in there is the uh, Noodler's uh, Sunset something or other. This doesn't even have a converter in it. This is new. This has purple ink in it. Or maybe it's just stained purple. No, there's definitely ink and it definitely needs to be cleaned. You guys are all cringing, aren't you? I can't believe. Ooh, this is broken. So let's see what we got here. This looks like I put some no no ink in there, like the. And this is totally. Oh, this might be a trash pile one. But the body still good, is good, so I could technically replace this body with this body and this lid, and it works. And it's kind of a cool color combo. This is definitely trash. This is trash. I don't think I can get the thing out of there. Can I? I have a letter opener. What happens if I try to pry it out? All right, these are cheap enough. I don't care. I'm throwing them away. So, trash. Okay. So, Jin Hao made one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight nine so down to eight though all right let's look at these knockoff um Kawako pens got a number of these all right so let's just make some room here shall we Look, this is not a fountain pen. We're going to get this pile down, you guys. We're going to get it down. I'm just trying to make room so that I have something to I have space to lay stuff down. Okay. So let's look at these. One, two, three. Okay, those are metal. 
and these are plastic. I don't actually have a, a real Coeco Sport pen. I just have these um, knockoff ones that I got on, in most cases I get these on AliExpress um, because that's just how I roll. This is, okay, I was gonna say, this is broken. Um, this looks like it's been cleaned. It just has some staining going on. Uh, but yeah, these are kind of, I kind of love these actually. Um, I don't like how many turns it takes. Oh, I guess actually that's a clicker. This one I think is a turn. Yeah. So these are metal. This is a brass. And these two are metal as well. Um, I think along the way I have figured out that I do not like heavy pens. This is clean. Um, I like pens that are light. So plastic pens are my are my jam. Um, but these ones here I, I kind of love because you can do and that looks like it is clean but stained. Um, that's these are the ones that I don't like that you have to twist. I don't think I'm a twister kind of girl. This one is not clean. There's purple in there. Um, I don't like having to twist the cap on because I want to be able to just quickly grab in one hand. I want to do, I want that to be a one-handed motion. So these are these are cool though. I like I like them and this kind of breaks the too heavy um, rule if I just do it with the uh, body part and don't post. All right, whereas these ones, they are the clicker, they are small, and they're super light. And so if you post it, it still doesn't make a big difference. And these are, um, well, it says wings. Uh, 3007. Is that a wing song 3007? I don't know actually. Which one did I say needed to be cleaned? This one? Oh Pam. Yeah I, th I think I see purple in there. Yeah. So this one needs to go in the to be cleaned pile. And these can go in the clean and file pile. All right, what's next? Oh, look, there's another one of these. This one is clean, clean-ish, clean and stained. Um, all right, let's look at these. Felt like I had three of these. There's another one somewhere in this house that looks similar to this. So this is, um, this is a triangular shape body. I kind of love the way that the nib writes, but it's not super comfortable to hold after a while. This one is the same. Uh, I, I bought these at the same time. So it's uh, clean, but it's got a um, triangular body, but it's not very comfortable to hold um, after a long time because I think it's just too big for my for my liking. But these are kind of cool. I'm t I'm not telling you the names of any of these. Maybe I'll put that on the screen. Okay. Oh look, here's another Gin House at five nine nine. Verifying that it is clean. There's cat hair on it. This is clean, and I'm putting it in the clean bin. And another gin how. And another one. Okay, let's pull out my Moon Man collection. 
So I feel like I've got several Moon Man pens, which uh, I'm going to pull this one out of this pile. And then I've got a couple of knockoff Moon Man pens. I just saw it. Where did it go? Oh, here's this one. in a bag. You guys, help me find it. This one. Oh, right here. Okay. So, let's first talk about these empty ones. Um, these are, it says H-Y-L on it. This one has a broken lid. Um, it does come with a eyedropper. Eyedropper pens are awesome. So um, the entire body, which I can show you here, the entire body of the pen fills up with ink. So you hardly ever have to um, refill these pens. So this is a real Moon Man. Okay, how much of the Moon Man did we miss? Um, I, I hate that this camera turns off after 20 minutes. Okay, so Moon Man, M2, S5, something that I don't remember the name of it is, and the Moon Man something else that's relatively new that I don't remember the name. See, I'm totally not a pen aficionado, but my Moon Man collection is among my favorites. Um, I think this one right here is of all of my Moon Man pens, this S5 and the M2 are probably the top two pens that I love. Um, this one needs to be cleaned. It's got a little bit of residue. Um, otherwise, I'm going to keep these in my active collection. All right, let's look at some Pilot, or no, Platinum Preppies. I think, oh, look, here's that other pen that is the triangular. This one's just clear. I just don't like it. I mean, I like the look of it. I like the way it writes. I don't like holding it. Okay, so Platinum Preppy. I feel like I should have done some homework before I piled this stuff on here, but you guys asked for this, so this is what you're getting. I feel like I have a purple Platinum Preppy somewhere. I know I have a bazillion of these, so I'm not sure why I'm not seeing them. But anyway, Platinum Preppy. I highly recommend Platinum Preppy as a beginner pen, mostly because they're so cheap and, here's a black one, and they, um, they write so smoothly. And I just love the way the ink lays down with these. I like the medium nib with the 0.5. That's really my favorite. Um, all of these are dirty and need to be cleaned. This one actually might be clean with some staining, but I'm gonna put it in the dirty pile. Platinum Preppies, love them. All right, I am just seeing that we've got a bunch of disposable fountain pens. So these Zebra, um, fountain pens are pretty nice and then also the uh, Pilot Varsity is also good. I like these if I'm going on a trip and I just want to have the writing experience of a Platinum Preppy or as of a, of a fountain pen but I don't want to have to deal with bringing ink along with me. So these are great for that. They do write smoothly and um, highly recommended. And they're cheap and they're disposable. Although there's a whole cult following out there of those pens that um, people actually refill them. So I'm pulling all the ones that are wooden or cork. Hey, we're making a dent, you guys. I feel like I need to go get a drink. Okay, hold on, let me put these down. I'll be right back. Okay, so wooden pens are awesome. I feel like there was one in here that I paid more for than the others and I don't remember which. So there you go, that's why I don't pay a bunch of money for pens because I never remember how much I paid for these things and 
one of these pens could have cost me 40 bucks and I wouldn't remember. Okay, so this one is made out of cork. I feel like I did pay a lot for this one and it's never been inked. It's pretty. Maybe I'll ink it up. It's, a, it's got cork with a little bit of gold in it. Um, really pretty nib on there too. <clears throat> um, these two I think are actually the same. one's clean and um, this one I think is the same as that one actually the uh, the nib is different the nib design that one's clean let me just show you the difference in nibs how are we gonna do this I don't have enough hand you guys Maybe you can't even see. Let's get rid of the caps. Let's do this again. Gold and silver nibs. A little bit different design on those. All right, so we're gonna put these over here in the pile. These three I think came as a set actually. I'm working on it guys. So we've got 0 0.7, uh, 1 1.1, and a 1.5. I don't think there's ink in any of these, uh, but uh, I like the way that they write, and I like having that variety. And this was really like, I think I paid a dollar a piece for these pens. Sorry, I was not even in, in, in frame on that. But they're very pretty, aren't they? And then this one, I want to say I spent a little bit more money on too. So this one, I don't remember how it writes. I feel like I paid a little bit more money for it. I don't remember how much. Um, but yeah, I feel like you guys are probably going to um, want me to <laughs> find all of these and link them below. So what I will do as I'm editing this if I, oh shoot, I just made a huge mess, you guys. Oh, look at, I did on my arm and all over my desk. Okay, let me go clean this up. Hold on. Okay, so that was purple-ish, grayish something. Oh my goodness, Pam. Didn't even notice, but my uh, my nails are a mess, so please don't judge me for my lack of manicure. All right, let's see what else. I've got these two that are the same. These I know are called Edge, something Edge. Um, I love this pen. I don't know why I'm not using it. Um, it's very, like it's a knockoff, obviously, of the whatever, whatever it is that looks like this. But the lid broke, and you can see it here. So there's a crack in the lid. So I actually left a review or reached out to the seller on Amazon, because I did get this one on Amazon. And I want to say this was a, a little bit more expensive. And I just asked if there was a way, if there was a place I could buy a lid. And they sent me a whole new pen. So there might actually be ink in this one. There is. Um, I probably need to figure out if I want to use that or not. But yeah, love this pen. Super smooth writer. All right, I feel like the the next. Oh look, another Jinhao 599. Okay, so let's just sort these. There's a bunch of these little ones right here. Oh, look at me. I am I'm zoomed out. Oh, I'm so sorry. Let me zoom back out here so you can see what's going on. 
So I'm going to um, see if I can sort the rest of these because I think that we're getting down. Oh, I think this is the Monte Monteverte uh, Monza. I think I paid a little bit extra money for this one and here it is just mixed in with everything else and it does need to be washed. I can see some ink in there. So we're going to put this in the pile to be washed. So let's see what we can do to sort these out because I think that there's a there's going to be a bunch of these Wing Song 3008. This is a Twisby Echo. Um, this one is clean, even though I see some moisture in there. This doesn't open. It's a vacuum. It's a, whatchamacallit, piston filler, I think is what that's called. So yeah, that one's fine. I know everybody loves the Twisby, and I think it's just okay. This is actually a Twisby knockoff. You can see it's got different, um, different symbols on the top. So this is a real, this is a not real. And look at how bad my fingernails are. I need to paint them. Um, maybe I'll do a comparison between these two and see if they, um, how they stand up to each other if I test them side by side. Okay, so there's some like pens here. So we're gonna just put this side. I think this is actually one that I got at five below got a converter in it. I don't, it's, there's no ink in it. But I also feel like this is a pretty common pen that you see everywhere. But this is not a fountain pen. This is a Uniball Air. Um, let's, let's put together the same Z's. This is this is kind of fun, you guys. Makes me want to play. So this is the platinum. I bet you that is this is the platinum that came in that box. And I don't remember what it is. A platinum. Is there such a thing as a platinum diamond? This needs to be cleaned. I don't really remember if I like this one or not. I have all of these little silver metal pens. This one I actually like. We'll talk about that one in a second. They have all of these little black silver desk pens that are very like pro, like I'm a professional and I have all these black pens on my desk. Or a metal version. These are whole category of its own. I don't even know what to say about these. I buy them and then I don't use them because I don't really like them. So there you go. That's that's what I got to say about that. So I should probably see if any of these... I don't know. Oh, this is an old one because it's, it's like... Um, the pusher thing. So there's a seller on eBay and also I think he's got Amazon and Etsy. Um, you guys all know him in the fountain pen world. I highly doubt fountain pen aficionados are watching this video. You're pro you probably cringed 20 minutes ago and said this woman is crazy. Um, but there is a seller and fountain pen maker and nib grinder named Bobby. He is out of um, China and um, he's got a couple of different names on different platforms and I am obsessed with his um, products. This is probably one from him. This is, I don't know how to pronounce that. Huhang, Huhang, H U A, Hua Hong, H O N G. Um, but he does new old stock. So, for instance, this one right here, I don't know what it is. It says 988 on it, and it's got a diamond. But look at this nib. Look at this nib. 
it's two-sided. So I don't even know how to explain it to you. Maybe I'll have to put a picture of it so that you can get the concept. But I don't really like how it writes. It looks cool. It's got ink in it that needs to be cleaned out. Um, but Bobby sells new old stock. And I think all three of those were from him. Um, this is a Jin Ha... Nope. This is a Jing. Jing Ping. It's a hooded nib. There's never been used. Um, but all of these metal pens. Hood, another hooded nib. I think this is actually... I think that's got a name. But a lot of them just don't have names. It's just, so this is a uh, Brower, B, oh, Bauer, B-A-O-E-R. This needs to be cleaned. Um, I don't know. I, I, I thought that I liked them. And this is a Jin Hao 126. Actually, I think that other one. Jin Hao 126. I think that's what this one is too. No, two eight eight. No, I don't know. Oh, maybe these two. Anyway, so many pens. This is another new old stock. This is Hero five or Hero seven eight. Hero nine five eight. Oh my goodness, this is Amazon Basics. If you guys want me to do a full review on this, I can do that. I think I uh, took out the cartridge. It writes really smoothly and it is a medium nib that I got and it lays down a lot, a lot, a lot of ink. So Jinhao 9009 hooded nib. This is a hero uh, called the doctor. I actually love this one. This is, I think actually there's ink in here and I'm, I've been using it. There is ink in here. It's green. I'm going to stick this in my currently inked pile. So this is another Bauer. I think I have two of those. This one, I got it. I thought it was going to be awesome. I hate it. It's ugly. It's a Jin Hao something, 250. I don't think I even ever inked it up because I just don't like the look of it. Nope, no ink. I probably just need to like unload these. Um, this is an Oasis O A S O O A S O. Can't say that I ever used this one either. So yeah, you guys, I have so many pens that I've never even used, and then I keep going back to the ones that I love, love, love. This one, I think that I have ink in, yes, because it's now on my fingers. It apparently is a brown or yellow or mustard or something. Let's get that one cleaned up. It is yellow. And Jin Hao X750. I always want to love this pen. It does write super smooth. Um, but, and it does, it's loaded with ink. Oh, here's another metal pen. This is Jin Hao 250. 50. Is that no 750 is what I just did. Um, I don't I don't know. Is there ink? No ink. Never never inked on this one either. Getting there. Okay, so we're getting closer to the end. This is another Gin House 750, I think. 450. 450 and 750. Come on. Oh, I remember. This this lid is broken. It doesn't come off. I don't think there's ink in here, but there might be. Yeah, there is. So I'm going to just stick this in the to-be-cleaned pile, and maybe I can figure out how to fix the lid. So these two are among my favorites as well. I think there might actually be ink in here. Nope, this is clean. Kind of not very clean. I need to put this back in the clean pile. These are urine, 
Y I R E N. Y R E N? I have no idea. I'm not good at pronunciation. But I love this because it's got this iridescent nib on it. There's a little bit of ink left in there. This needs to be, so both of these need to be cleaned. Um, but I like the way they write. They feel good in the hand. They're very similar to the Jinhao 599s. Apparently, I really like Jinhao 250s because here's another one. Oh, this is a pen. My fingers are all dirty. That's a ballpoint pen. Oh, look, here's another ballpoint pen. This is a tactical pen, but that's ballpoint. Here is my Pilot Metropolitan. I feel like this has ink in it. Why can I not open it? There we go. There is re ink residue in here. So I'm going to stick that in the to be clean pile. This one is one of the few. This is a Hero 3019 that I use often. That's one of those black metal desk pens. I like that it's got a hooded nib on it and it writes really, really smoothly. I don't know that there's ink. Yes, there is. Apparently I was using some type of red orange ink in here uh, that needs to be cleaned. Okay. But I do like this pen. I like the design on it. Um, very classy looking. Okay. So here are all of my That's what I've got left, you guys. It's getting down to the end. Let's look at let's look at this other metal one. This is something 322. Oh, this has a this is another one of those new old stock from Bobby. It's got a very unique uh, nib on it. It's really pretty. I don't really remember how it writes. There appears to be ink in it. So I'm going to stick this in the to be cleaned pile. Okay, so this one looks like china, like china that you put on your table. It is a Hero 9626, and I think it's yep, a hooded nib, nib on this. I did have ink in it at one point. Um, I feel like it doesn't, um, it doesn't write as beautifully as I want it to. It's beautiful. I love it. I want to love it. Maybe I'll try it again. Give it another try. Um, but it needs to be cleaned. It's got ink in it. This one feels like a mess to me. I don't even know what this is. There's definitely been ink in here. In fact, this looks like I left ink in here and the kind of ink that dries into cement. Don't even know what this is. This is, this is garbage. Throwing it away. Okay, so then we have all of these. So we've got the Pilot, um, or no, we've got a Parker Jotter, and it is broken. I seem to break my uh, my bodies, so it's got a crack right there. Uh, it's not really preventing it from working. It works fine. I just don't think I love the way that it writes. Whatever. I should probably clean it out. Okay, so these right here, so this is a Jinhao 51A and 56. I feel like these are all related. Um, these also have hooded nibs. I want to say that I don't think I've even used the red and the blue one. But yeah, these are, these are good. Again, super cheap pens. And then I've got this Noodlers. I think I have a couple. I feel like I have more than one Noodlers. Maybe not. Getting down to the end, you guys. Noodlers, um, I think it's the their music nib or something. I don't know. I didn't really like it. Okay, let's just deal with all of these right here. 
These are Wing Song 3008. Uh, nope, they're not. Not all of them are Wing Song 3008. There's a 13. There's like, they look the same, but there's two different makers. This is a 13, 13, 13, 3008, 8. 13. So here we go. We've got three Wing Sung 3008s. Um, these are all clean but stained. That's the, that's the danger of demonstrator pens is they get stained. And then this is, shoot, what's it called? I don't remember what it is, but this is, these are all labeled 013 or 3003. 3013. Um, these are all related um, very closely to the 3008s. Um, this one needs to be cleaned. There's definitely ink in there that is not doing well. This one also looks like we have a disaster going on. You can see that I've got ink everywhere. So it's all up in the lid. I'm not even going to open that to investigate, but it looks like a mess. So I'll add that to the clean pile, to be cleaned pile. These are all empties. I like these. I like the way that they fill. All right, where are we at here? I don't even know what this one is. Um, it's got black and gold ink in it, and it definitely needs to be cleaned. I don't know what it is. It is a twist, so I don't love it. This one, is that? It's, whoa. Okay, well, that is set up as an eyedropper and I didn't even know it. And I just made a mess. Let's see if we can put this back together and then go clean myself up. What a disaster. Okay, whatever this is, it's awesome. Maybe I should try it out. I'm going to put it in this pile. Oh, the things I do for you guys. All right, so we're down to this and then my everyday carry stuff. Okay. And there's only like a few here that I'm gonna keep filled. Okay, so this one, oh, this one is the same as <laughs> this one, except it's more evident that this is an eyedropper because I was thinking this was just a black body. I don't really remember much about these pens. I feel like I need to test them out and play with them before I clean them out. So I'm gonna put them in here. All right, so these three all look the same. They all have gold. Is there any that look the same that have different color? No. This has ink that definitely needs to be cleaned out. I don't really know what these are. It's a twist. It's a medium. All right, well, maybe I'll see if I can figure out what that is. Uh, so I'm gonna clean this one and uh, this one, and this one's not been used. Okay, so these ones right here all go together. And this one definitely has ink in it that needs to be cleaned out. Possibly this one. Um, yeah, definitely this one. This doesn't. Yeah, so I don't know what these are. Don't you love that that's basically what I've said this entire video? Look, there. here's a pen. I don't know what this is, but look at how pretty. Okay, washing those two, this one can go in the file. All right, I don't know what this one is. This says wings on 
Wings super quality. It's got ink in it. Definitely needs to be cleaned. Okay. My to be clean pile is pretty big. All right, these two go together. I feel, oh wait, this one goes with those colorful ones. This is a brown version or a gray version. But there's no ink in there. So these, let's just look at the lids. I bet you we can. So yeah, these go together. And these go together. And then that is separate and this is separate. And I don't know what this one is, and I don't think I've seen any others, and it doesn't look like it's ever been inked. I'm just going to pull this one out. This is also a never been inked. It's a fine nib, and it's a twist top, twisted cap. Um, except, interestingly, I don't know that you can see in there, but the screw is rusty. So that kind of sucks. Um, all right, so these ones, there's a couple that need to be cleaned. This is actually an ink pen. And so is this one. So this looks like a like a rollerball pen that you can put ink in. We'll have to try those. I've got so that means I've got like four. So this one and this one. These are all rollerball pens that take uh, fountain pen ink in a whole class by themselves. And so these two are related to those other ones that take rollerball, but these are actually uh, fountain pens. And both of them need to be cleaned. Putting that in this pile. You guys have a lot of work to do. All right, these two. These are fun pens, and I like the way they write. And um, can't tell if, yes, this definitely has ink that needs to be cleaned out. Um, the problem that I have with these though, is that the ink, maybe it's actually the converter and not the pen so much, but I do love that everything is iridescent about them. So the, um, the nib is iridescent and then the clip is also, so this is fun pen. Um, I don't think that the ink flows well from the converter to the which majigger the next piece the feed um, and into the nib I always feel like I have to open these pens and twist the converter to push ink up into the feed so all right you guys here's what I have to clean do you want to see a video of me cleaning pens it's kind of the thing that I hate the most all right, let's just pull out what's in my pen case. So let's pull out the not pen stuff. Get rid of that. So that leaves four. So um, this is um, a something 095 and it's got a hooded nib. I love the way this writes, very smooth, nice fine tip. This is a Jin Hao something something. I don't remember what it is. I love the way this writes. This is a fine nib, but it's got a fat, um, a fat line of ink on it. These two are my two current favorites. Um, this is my, uh, this is gray ink. And I think this is some concoction that I came up with when I was mixing something gray with some water to make it diluted. And this is Pen BBS ink, uh, number 269. And I've been using this for the past couple of weeks. And uh, this is what I've been using every day. 
for the past couple of weeks for my everyday use. Whether it's in this case or whether it's um, like at my journaling table or something else. So here we go. This is what we've got. I'm going to play with these. I'm going to continue using these. I'll play with these and decide if I'm going to keep them filled. I'm going to continue using these until I get tired of using them, which, you know, could be any day now. And I'm going to wash these. And then I have, let's just pull all of these together. Let's put these here. And I've got three. Three to be filed or not currently using. So that's not so bad. I mean, I feel very organized now. Thanks for suggesting this topic, even though it was kind of a disaster. But there you go. So lots of pens that I am um, that I have on standby. Lots of pens that I have used and I like enough to have filled them, but not enough to keep them filled. Um, and that is not going in there. There we go. And then some that I like and I want to play with again because I forgot about them and those that are used every single day. So not so bad. Okay. I'm going to do what I can in the description below to link as many things as possible. And anything that I got on Amazon, I now have an Amazon, a stationary nerd Amazon store. Woohoo. Um, so anything that I can um, link in the store, I will. There is already a fountain pen section and there's also an ink section. Um, so anything that I can link there, I will. Otherwise I will link to AliExpress or eBay or wherever I can um, find these. Some of these are probably not even going to be available anymore, but at least I will do my best to find them all for you. So anyway, which ones are your favorites? Any overlap with me? Anybody else out there collect dollar pens just to see if they work or not? So anyway, let me know. Let's chat in the comments below. I will talk to you later. Bye.